balancing. It's the most intimidating part about feeding a homemade raw diet, but it's also the most important part. Just like us humans, serious health problems can occur if nutrients are too low or too high in the diet. So if you want your pet to fully thrive, the diet needs to provide the proper nutrients. I get it, it's scary at first, but after five and a half years of feeding three different species raw, I'm confident I can help you. So let's get into how to balance, and later I'll tell you a little secret on how to make the whole process dead simple. All right, first we need to figure out how many calories our dog needs daily. Not only will this tell us how much to feed them, but it also helps us figure out their nutrient needs. The established formula that I'll be showing you can be found in many veterinary and animal nutrition books, as well as online. So using this, let's calculate how many calories my adult dog Matsu needs. There's two parts to this. The first is figuring out how many calories he needs for basic bodily function at rest. Here's the formula. All I need to do is plug in Matsu's current weight in kilograms in between the parentheses. This equals about 431 calories. Now that we know this, we can find out how many calories he needs to maintain his weight while being active. For this, we need to figure out which category he best falls under in this table. These are based on the dog's body condition, activity level, and age. Matsu is a neutered adult, so let's multiply 431 by 1.6. This means that Matsu needs about 670 calories daily. This can certainly vary depending on activity level and metabolism, but it's a great place to start. Okay, now that we know how to figure out how many calories our dog needs, we can now figure out how much of each nutrient they need in their diet. To figure this out, we need to take a look at a nutrient table. The one that myself and many other raw feeders use is by the National Research Council, who created this table after extensively studying what nutrients dogs need daily and in what amounts. This table is showing nutrients needed per 1,000 calories fed, meaning if a dog is eating 1,000 calories, this is how much of each nutrient they need daily. But if your dog eats more or less than 1,000 calories, their nutrient numbers will be different. So how do you figure out your dog's numbers? Let's try it with Matsu. We just need to divide his caloric intake by 1,000 calories, then multiply this decimal to each number on this table. For example, iron. As you can see, a dog eating 1,000 calories needs 7.5 milligrams of iron daily. So we just need to multiply 7.5 by the decimal that I just got. This means Matsu needs 5.1 milligrams of iron daily. Cool, so now that we know our dog's daily caloric and nutrient needs, all we need to do now is figure out what nutrients the foods we're feeding provide. Now remember, I'm going to show you a super easy way to figure out all of this in one moment, so if you're getting overwhelmed, don't worry. All right, so where do you find out what nutrients different foods provide? Well, luckily, there are a few food databases online. Two of my favorites being Self Nutrition Data and Food Data Central. All you have to do is type in the food that you want to look up and it will show you all of its nutrition data. Of course, not every single food item is on here, but for the most part, you can usually find what you're feeding. So typical balanced raw diets include a raw meaty bone, the secreting organ meat liver, one other secreting organ meat, muscular meat, and a few whole foods or supplements to fully balance it. So at this point, all we have to do is see what nutrients are in each food item that we're feeding. For example, let's analyze the beef liver in Matsu's meal. The numbers that you see on the food data website are all per 100 grams or 3.5 ounces of that food but I'm only feeding 11.3 grams or 0.4 ounces of liver. So how do I figure this out? Well, it's very similar to the math that we just did. We just need to divide the weight that I'm feeding by 100 grams and that gives me a decimal. Now, just multiply that decimal by each nutrient number and that will give me how much is in 11.3 grams of liver. To see what nutrients are being met in your dog's entire meal, you will need to do this with each food item that you're feeding. Okay, I know this is a lot, so instead of making you remember a bunch of different formulas and nutrient tables, I made a super simple free cheat sheet for owners to quickly reference when making a meal. 
You can see all of the meats, bones, and organs that are safe to feed, the bone percentages of each common meaty bone, the nutrients that are usually low in a raw meal and how to cover them, the formulas that you need to figure out caloric and nutrient needs, and the essential nutrient table for both adult dogs and puppies. If you want one of your own, you can download it in the link below. Happy balancing!